The Blitz Club in Covent Garden. For a while it was the trendy place to go. So what was it like? Spacious, sophisticated, luxurious? No, not really. As I remember it, the Blitz was actually a fairly pokey little place. There was an upstairs and a downstairs. Upstairs had tables and there was a balcony so you could look down on the people dancing downstairs. The dance floor was really small. In fact, it was so cramped you could hardly get from one side of the club to the other without smudging your makeup. Now, dress code was pretty strict. You wouldn't stand much of a chance of even getting in if you were wearing an off-the-peg jacket and a sensible pullover. Of course, not everybody went the full Marilyn. But even so, the Blitz clientele didn't exactly dress down. According to Steve Strange, who ran the Blitz on its new romantic nights, he once turned away Mick Jagger. Though it's not clear if that was because Mick wasn't dressed appropriately, or because the club was already full, or maybe he just turned him away, well, because he could. You can imagine the scene, can't you? Steve Strange has been stuck on the door of his club all night, nothing much happening, then suddenly Mick Jagger turns up. So Steve looks him up and down and says, very, very calm and very, very Welsh, sorry, Mick Love, you can't come in, we're full. Well, that's what I did then anyway. I mean, the night Mick Jagger comes to your nightclub is a pretty good story. But the night you wouldn't let him in, that's an even better one.